Hello, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you on how to convert a Profibus into a Profinet communication protocol. But first, you need to have the following. First, this module. This is NL51NDPL proxy device. So this is a Hilschner brand. Second is a complete Sycon.net installation. This installation can be downloaded for free in their website. So below description link, I will give you the link. So all you have to do is to download the gateway solution. Third is the GSD file of the device that you are going to convert from Profibus to Profinet. Okay, let's start. Once we already connected the device from the from the PLC, so of course the LAN cable or the RG45 should be connected to your Profinet device which is your PLC, Siemens PLC and the Profibus connect connector should be on your slave. So I am using Allen Bradley slave IO module. So second, you need to open this software, Ethernet device setup. So, all you have to do is to click search device. He will go into search all the Hilsner devices that is being connected to your PC. Okay, so as you can see, he, he browsed four different Ethernet devices here. So this is our all you have to do is to locate this the netlink proxy. So this is the device that is going to convert the Profibus into Profinet. So as you can see he has a default of 0.0.0. .0, so we need to assign an uh, IP address for this. So 192.168.0. So shall I say I am going to put 2. Subnet. Click OK. Now it's already been configured the IP device. So just click minimize. And then the next step is to open your Sycon.net software. Okay, so this is the typical view of your Sycon.net. So as you can see, there is a gray bus here. So this is where you are going to put your Hilschner Profibus to Profinet conversion module. So in the right corner, you need to search for the Profinet IO. Then locate the NL51 NDPL. So this is the device. Then drag this to your bus, the gray color bus. So this is the one. So as you can see, this pink color is your profi bus connector. So this is where you are going to put your slave profi bus device. So after that, double click this. Then he's going to search uh, the available module. Okay, so he searched. In default, you cannot see that one. So all you have to do is to click the next X driver. 
and then enable the TCP and then the IP address. So this is the IP address that we we are configuring a while ago. So and then click OK. So again, I will click. We will search and then it should appear here. Your Hilschner. Click. Tick box and then click apply. So now it is connected to your Sycon.net. Then click OK. So after that, the good thing for this Sycon.net is he is going to scan it. There is a option to scan the network automatically. So he's going to search everything that is connected on your module. Okay. But before proceeding, if you cannot see your device here, then you need to download the GSD file that you are going to convert. So how to do that? You just click uh, you just click the network and then click the import device description. So lately I have already prepared GSD file of the device that I am going to convert into Profinet. So this is the GSD file that I am going to import. So just search the GSD file. So I need to locate where did I put that. Okay, I will just copy it. Okay, we we'll just copy it in the desktop. GST, then this is the one. By clicking open, he asks you that it's already exists since I already installed it in my library. But never mind, I will just again install. And then he will ask you the bitmaps. So the bitmaps means the photo of the device. Since I don't have, I will just click OK. Then it will just uh, say that it no bitmaps was being uh, located. You just click yes. So since I click the the what you call that the update for the catalog, it will takes time. But I can cancel it. Okay. Now green color means you are now connected. So all you have to do is to add your slave device here. So how to add is again you need to just right click and then go to network scan. So you see the station address is 5. So this is the bus address number 5. So all I have to do is to just click the create device. And then, as you can see, this is the uh, device or the module that I am going to put on our slave. Since this is already configured, I can add or delete the current slots. So I will not touch this. It depends on what device you are going to use. Since I am already satisfied on what is put in here, then I will not touch anything. So I then click apply. Then click yes. Then click OK. So now it's already finished. So again, I will click disconnect.
Okay, now we are disconnected. Now, I will need to generate the GSD file for this. How to do that? You just right click, additional function, profinet IO, and then export GSD in L. And then where you are going to save it. So, I'm going to save it in the desktop. And click save. Okay. So, once I check the desktop, it's already here, you see. Now, we need to download this in order for uh, the parameters to be uh, saved on the device. You just click download. Then click yes. Okay, now we are finished. After that, we are now, first we already downloaded it. After that, we generated the GSD file. The next thing to do is to create a project on your Siemens or in your Cymatic. So I'm going to open the Cymatic Manager. Okay, I'm going to create a new project. So I will name it uh, Okay. So insert object. Okay. So I am using CPU 315-2.pin.tt 2H version 3.2 uh, But first, I need to add a rack Then add a PLC Okay, so new Click OK Then OK so this is our Ethernet bus. Now we are going to add here the GSD file that was being generated a while ago. So, but first thing to do is to install the GSD file that was being generated in the Cycon on your hardware config. So you just go to option, install GSD file, click browse and locate the one that has been generated a while ago. It might be here. Let's stop. Okay. Just click. So this is the one. Then click install. Now it was successfully installed. Click close and then the catalog will start refreshing so it will take some time since it will again update okay then go to Profinet, additional, as you can see, this is the one. 
DPL, okay? Then, drag this to your Profinet I.O. system. And as you can see, he also put here the one that we configured a while ago and also the address. So, but first, as you can see, it was been some of the address was been overlapped. So, we can change this. And then I will download the hardware configuration. Oh, sorry, I click the upload. Cancel. Download. Okay. 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 I finished downloading the device. Now, I will go online if we can see the device here or if we have any alarm. Okay, as you can see, we successfully configured the device without any alarm. Now, let's see. Uh, let's simulate. I will uh, manually put a supply from the input. Since this is my input. Okay, uh, now we are already finished configuring.